Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Hey, thanks for checking out this channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad that you joined us. All of our workouts here, well, most of them anyway, are follow along workouts. So you press play, we do it together, we get fit. It's kind of like a win-win for both of us. All right, if you are new and you want to subscribe, go ahead and click that button down below right now. If you are not new and you've been with me, hey, thanks, and I love your comments down below. Um, a couple of shout outs, like Lenula, thanks for always commenting, Carla, um, Fit Joy, I love your comments. Who else comments on the regular? Shelly and Olivia, thanks for commenting as well. I really appreciate all the feedback down below and I do read them all and I will respond to yours as well if you have something to say. Hey, also coming up, we're gonna do a, a little nutrition masterclass. Are you interested in that? Do, do you struggle with nutrition or do you want more input on nutrition? If so, can you let me know in the comments below? Uh, if you would be interested and we'll just have a like a little masterclass teaching clean eating uh, tips and tricks meal planning strategies macros glycemic index all of those things are important when we want to sculpt and change our body composition I held a class not too long ago called healthy eating revisited and we took a look at uh, all of those things and I think it really helped people kind of reset for the spring and get into a healthier mindset for nutrition all right, but today's workout is gonna be all legs and abs, all right? I love this combination because legs, big muscle groups, we're gonna be burning a lot of body fat, and then abs, you know, you burn the fat and then you can see the abs, right? Can't see mine right now, but hey, we're gonna work on getting rid of that layer, and then in the master class, we're gonna talk about the nutrition on how to really get there. Because as you know, can't out train a bad diet. All right, enough talking. I'm gonna show you what you need for the workout, so get ready and we'll get started coming up. All right, you're gonna need some bands. You're gonna need a variety of dumbbells. You're gonna need your water or BCAAs, and you're gonna need a birdhouse. <laughs> I'm kidding on the birdhouse. Why would you need a birdhouse? It doesn't even make any sense. Let's do it. Okay, if you haven't done a warm up, go ahead and click the card right above. I'm all warmed, ready to go. Pause the video if you need to warm up. Otherwise, let's get started. Starting with feet shoulder width apart, moving into squats right here. All right, everything is gonna be 45 seconds as I showed you at the beginning there. 15 seconds reprieve. Right now, I'm just doing without weights just to get those legs right into the mode here. So just regular squats. Again, legs and abs is what's on the agenda for today. So, supersetting right now, basically that means we're gonna do two exercises, okay, back to back. We'll do it for three rounds and then we'll move on. So that's gonna be the format of this whole workout today. Two, circulate for three, then move on. All right, so the last 10 seconds right here. Nice wide feet. And then we're moving into a reverse lunge. All right, shake it out for a second. Again, grab weights if you want right now. Round one, I'm weightless in Seattle, so if you want to uh, go ahead, feel free. Otherwise, we're gonna pick up the weights in round two, reverse lunge, alternating in three, two, here we go. All right, step it back, super tall, and drop that back knee. All right, on round two on this uh, reverse lunge here, I'm gonna add a pulse once we have the weights in our hands. And we'll slow down, of course, because we'll have weights. Really creating more tension on our muscles, which is the name of the game for adaptation. Woo! Burning. 10 seconds. All right, that's it, grab a dumbbell. All right, so going back to that goblet squat. This time, I just want you to slow, have a little pause at the bottom before you come back up, all right? Ready, 
Here we go. So you're down, pause, push. All right? I have some clients that just love to just go as fast as they can through the exercise, mostly to get it over with, but sometimes, like if you're working in hypertrophy, which is that three times 12, so three rounds, 12 reps, if you really race through an exercise, it can be done in like less than 20 seconds sometimes, right? So that's not super beneficial. That's actually not hypertrophy. That's not causing the muscle to adapt and to shift and change and grow where you've got to spend more time under tension. And so moving a little slower or pausing helps to do that. All right, grab your other weight. Whew. Okay, so reverse lunge with a slight pause at the bottom. Get ready in five, four, three, two, and pulse. So here, pulse and switch. Low, pulse, set. Remember, you're pushing straight up through the heel. Stay tall in your upper body. Halfway through. Five seconds here. weight down and let's move back to that goblet with that pause at the bottom shake it out we're gonna throw some cardio moves in here too just so you know okay low pause up you can do a little pulse down there just to keep it nice and I don't know to the beat good reaching hips back seconds left. I want you down to 90 degrees on this. Come on, get drop down, drop those glutes low. All right, grab your other weight. Reverse lunges. We're actually going to do one more round with the weights, okay? I know I said three, but that first round just felt more warm up. Here we go. Get that back knee as low as you can. Alright, super tall, shoulders back, stick your chest out, and 
and drop it. Pulse, switch. Little pulse at the bottom. Another way to get a lot of that time under tension is to do a pulse press or a pulse squat, right? Or like one and a half, I guess they're called. So you can do that with bicep curls, tricep, shoulders, chest, back, everything, right? You just put a little pulse and that helps keep you in that pocket just that much longer. Three, two, and time. All right, quickly grab water if you need, and we're moving on to the next superset. The next superset, you're gonna require the bands. All right, so going into a frog pulse to start. Let's slip that band right above the knees. Feet are gonna to be together. You're gonna to grab a dumbbell, put it on your pelvis, and we're up and down right there. All right, next exercise is gonna be a donkey kick. So it's gonna be around your feet. All right, it'll be good that we have 15 seconds to get into this, but you're slipping one around and the other one's coming right back up. All right, this one is gonna be 22 seconds per side, so we'll switch after 22 seconds. So go ahead and play with your band strength, whatever one works for you. I'm gonna slip the red, and we're getting started in three, two, here we go, 45 seconds. That's it. Good squeeze at the top here. You could even have that little pulse at the top right here. Okay, I'm gonna do that actually this round. So like this if you want. Pulse up. You'll feel it like in a few seconds how much more tension it adds when you give it a good squeeze at the top and a little pulse. All right, 15 seconds left. Up, squeeze. Ooh, yep, it's on fire. All right, set that weight down. Slip it quickly around your feet. Move it into donkeys. All right, hands and knees. Okay, one knee down and press into the ceiling. Here we go, I'll tell you when to switch. Knee comes down and press up. Good. Feel a little of the hamstring on this guy too, just as you're controlling it back. I definitely do. All right, go ahead and switch sides, just quickly. The other foot goes up. Don't take too much time. Nice flat back on this. That's it, keep it going. Five more seconds. All right, on your back. Slip it above the knees. Get that on your pelvis. Feet together, knees out, and here we go. Up and pulse. Up and pulse. Keep those knees out. Twenty seconds. Moving into a cardio ab sequence next. Run to super set. In three, two, and time. All right, slip into the donkey. Down on your feet. All right, in five, three, two, and press. Really feel that targeted in the glutes here. And again, you can push up and slow. Up and slow. I mean, that is just so much harder when you go slow. 
All right, let's switch sides. Up. Don't let it snap you down. You control the down. All the way up, as high as you can. Good, last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, last round here under the knees. Three, two, and start. Pulse at the top. Up, pulse.
10 seconds. Keep going. Woo. Hard. Little sip here. Okay, get down for that plank. In three, two, here we go. That's it, halfway. Bum is down. Don't rock. Go nice and slow so you're not tipping your hips. In five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, last round coming up here. All right, get ready in five, three, two, here we go. Stretch up and crunch. All right, we're gonna do 45 seconds a side on this one. Then the next exercise is going to be a sumo squat. So grab a heavy weight, feet are wider than shoulder width apart, but toes face front, shoulders back, and we're gonna go nice and low, pulse at the bottom, and then come back up and squeeze our butt. All right, get ready. Starting with that curtsy, I'm just gonna do the first round without a weight to get my uh, bearings, and then I'll add a weight next one. Ready in three. Two, and here we go. So low, pulse, up. Here we go, that's it. So when I do hold the weight, it'll be in this long hand here. That's it. Really, you should feel that in that one glute on that side there, especially adding that pulse right here. Boom. That is gonna feel it. Good, make sure you get that crunch at the top. Two and up. 15 seconds. A lot of time under tension on this one here. Last one. Okay. Woo. Yeah, that's gonna feel it. Switching sides. In five, four, three, Two, and here we go. 
So curtsy, pulse, crunch, low, and oblique. This takes a little bit of balance. And once you hold the weight in your hand, you might find you counterbalance a little better. Feel free to use a chair, the side of a couch if you need. Twenty seconds. Okay, last five. Four, three, two, and time. Into that sumo. A little pulse at the bottom, remember. So, feet are wider. I mean, toes are slightly out, but not out, out like a plie. Ready, shoulders back. Drop the glutes in the center. That's it. Oh, pulse at the bottom. Right there, and up. Low, pulse, good. Stay tall. Halfway through. Squeeze the top. 15 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, and time. All right, I think I'm gonna try the 15 pound on this curtsy for at least one round. See how that goes. Hold it in that long arm, and the other one goes above the head for the oblique. Here we go. So low and here. Let's go pick a spot on the floor to stay focused on. That helps a lot with balance. Get that back knee almost to the ground. Oh yeah, that extra weight is fantastic. Halfway through. Okay, last 10 seconds. Keep it going. In three, two, and crunch. Woo! That was good. See, just 12 reps. Running through that quickly, and you're not gonna get that feeling. You gotta spend more time sometimes. All right, ready? And reverse. Halfway. Five seconds, three, two, and time. That's hard. Get out. Sumo squat with the pulse. Okay? In three, two, here we go. Low pulse. Drop it low, come on. I should be holding a heavier weight here. This, I can feel it, but definitely could do more. If you have heavier, make sure that you're going as heavy as you can with good form, okay? Challenge the muscles. 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Shake it, last round. In five, four, three, two, here we go. 
low crunch. I find this side way easier. It's like I have more range of motion in that hip. How about you guys? One side easier? You can get a little lower. Halfway. In four, three, two, and time. It's good. Get the neck looped. Shake it out. All right, in three, two, here we go. Oops, a little tippy sometimes. to go on the diagonal, I think. Good focus. Almost there. Five seconds. All right, and rest. Good. So quick drink. Maybe back here. The next two exercises. That, hmm, the next two exercises. Find a bench or a chair or something to put your back leg on. We're doing that Bulgarian split squat, weighted with the pulse, okay? So, one foot behind, one foot in front, hold your weight, your low pulse, push through the heel, all right? Second exercise will require that bench as well. Feet up on here, I'll show you the mod as well. Plank position, bring your knee into opposite elbow. Believe me, this is gonna be hard. Modify from the ground. Can you see me? <laughs> from the ground, okay. Ready? Let's do it. All right, grab your weight. This is where that birdhouse comes in handy. <laughs> Just kidding. What would we ever use that for? Ready? Down. Low. Pulse and press. Low. Good. I bought that at Urban Barn. Do you know what that is? Down in the States or are you Europeans? I don't know. It's I'm pretty sure it's an American company. But anyway, it's in Canada. It's kind of like, um, well, I was gonna say like winners, but I think that's also Canadian. Um, it's like Ross, but better. <laughs> not so, uh, not so low end, I guess. Anyway, it's, I think it's cute, but I, I'm not really great at decorating, as you can tell probably. Oh, okay, that's it. I mean, I don't really care about it as much. Uh, what about those little owl pillows there too? I thought they were cute. But the lady there convinced me that that little birdhouse was a thing. I think I just don't know where to put it. So there it sits and it doesn't really fit. But what do you do? Do you have a better suggestion for it? I'll leave that in the comments below. If you're an interior designer and you go, oh my goodness, if you only just put this pillow backwards with that lace covering on top, it would look perfect. Anyway, oh, there's the dog. And here's tapping feet. Come here, Max. Come say hi. Oh, almost there. 15 seconds. Oh, you gotta show the people what you look like in your sweater. Come here. Come here. I'll show you in a second here. What are you doing? Oh, goodness. In four, three, two, and time, come here, quickly. Show them what you look like with this. This is what happened here. See, one arm out. Don't be afraid. Okay, go. Get in that plank position. Knee into opposite. Here we go. This actually feels really good on the elevation. I don't know why, but I'm liking it. How about you guys? Again, if wrists are bad, drop to your elbows, okay? 
Nice and slow on this. Again, it does not have to be quick. You don't want to race through it. You want to really crunch those obliques. Bring that knee right to the elbow. Slow and control. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. And time. That uh, hurts my wrist a bit, but I try from the elbows now. Yeah, next time. Okay, get back up. There we go. In five, four, three, two. Drop it low. And we're gonna pulse down here. Did I forget that last time? Hopefully you remembered. feeling this as well. 20 seconds left. Stay in your heel and that front foot. In four, three, two, and shake it out. Holy, that is work. All right, switch it. In five, three, two, and here we go. Falls at the bottom. Stay tall.
20 seconds left. In three, one more, two, and time. Oh, that was hard. Definitely hard. Okay, last plank. In four, three, two, here we go. Remember not to speed through it. jumping squat with the band and then you're going to go down onto the ground okay take that band slip it around your feet again just like we did for that donkey kick but we're doing seated bicycles right here okay all right that can also be done for your back if need be all right get ready grab your bands let's do it okay 45 seconds of this is gonna be a long time feel free to just go into a regular squat if you need to get ready in three two Get low and pulse, pulse right there. So it's two little pulses. One is in, one is out. You are not coming up out of that squat here. <clears throat> That's it, stay low. Woo, yep, it's gonna be a burner. All right, you're over halfway there. Stick with me. And we get a little break, basically for a minute while we do abs, okay? 10 seconds here. In four, three, two, and time. All right, down, slip that band low. Around the feet. Okay, on the back, it's right here. Okay, seated position, a little bit more difficult. Here we go. Got to balance yourself a little bit more here. Really try to pull that knee up to the elbow. Slow and controlled to get on this. A little hip flexor. Working obliques as well. Of course, this can be done without a band if you don't have one. Oh, it's hard. Last 10. In three, two, and time. All right, slip the band above. This is a fast moving one here. Oh, I just noticed a little nick in this band. Time to replace. Here we go. I've had a couple of bands break while clients have been using them. No one's ever gotten hurt, thank goodness, but it snaps and flies across the room, just like that elastic band there. It's always a good thing to go through the bands, uh, check, make sure there, there is no little nicks in them. If this one lasts the rest of the workout, I'll show you what I mean. Holy. Okay, 15 seconds. In three, two, and time. Oh, that's hard. All right, down you go. Let's slip it. 
break here for five seconds. I'm gonna try this on my back this time. Here we go. Long. Control. Keep tension on the band. There and back. All right. Sitting tall, get ready in three, two, and here we go. Push up, slow control. And push, really focusing on that one side of your glutes. Good. This is a nice exercise to do if you have no dumbbells and you want a good leg workout that's no equipment required. This one's hard. As long as you control the down and don't flop, it's tricky. And you can keep your leg all the way up, it's even more difficult. Of course, you can modify with a tiptoe on the ground right there if it's getting too hard for you, okay? Oh, it's hard for me right now. All right, rest. All right, little break. You'll need it. Switching legs. Super tall in three, two, through the heel, straight up, and slow. Control. Again, you wanna be at 90 degrees with your knee. If you are lower than 90, obviously oh, it's gonna be more difficult. Sometimes if I'm at the gym, and like there's one bench there that's really low, 
I'll put like a 45 pound plate on it just to elevate my surface a bit. Of course you could use a book if you're at home and you have a really low chair that you're using or a low bench. Little hip flexors sore from that bicycle. All right, in three, two, last one there. Oh, stretch that out. Okay, hip hop to extension. So legs are uh, straight, hands underneath your bottom, popping up, bending and extending. Get ready in three, two, here we go. Up to the ceiling and extend.
halfway. Woo! A little tippy sometimes. 10 seconds. Oh, this is hard. In forward, three, two, and rest. Oh, I'm Newman. All right, last side here. Get ready in four, three, two, and up. That's it. Control. Last circuit is coming up, okay? Last super set. Getting some deadlifts, working our hammies a little bit here. I was thinking of the next exercises, now I can't remember. Oh well. If I miss the other side, feel free to do it. I'm moving on here. Pop those hips right to the ceiling. Instead of slipping it on and off, we'll just keep it there, okay? So we'll do the deadlifts. It does put a little bit of tension on the glutes here to keep your legs separated. But you kind of want your feet a little bit closer together in a deadlift. So we're going to hinge forward at the waist right there. Heavy dumbbells if you have them. And then after that circuit, we're going to get on hands and knees. And we're going to do a fire hydrant there for 45 seconds on the side. Boom. That is going to kill our glutes. Ready for this last circuit? Let's go. All right, so I've got my heavy dumbbells for my stiff leg deadlifts. Knees are soft, shoulders back, back is super flat, and we're hinging at the waist. Ready? Here we go, stick your butt out, reach your hips back, power forward. Now again, you can slow, slow, pause, slow, slow, for more time under tension here. Your back flat though, don't let those shoulders round forward. If you think of leading with your chest, your back will stay nice and flat. All right, set those weights down. And let's get down on hands and knees for that fire hydrant. Again, band is above knees. Okay, and we're 45 seconds aside. You're gonna feel this. Guaranteed. All right, in three, two, flat back, and here we go. Up to the side. I often feel it more on the leg that I'm actually bearing my weight on, as is the case right this moment. My right leg is burning already. That's good, that's what building a booty is all about, ladies. I say ladies because according to my analytics there's 80% of ladies on here. If there's a boy actually doing this exercise with me that would be fabulous because it's really hard but yeah my channel 
only caters to about 20% of them, so that's all right. That's good. Ah. Woo, that is a burner. Both my, um, all my kids work out, but our oldest son, Stratton, and my husband, Quentin, they're, they're very avid body, not bodybuilders, but here we go on the side, uh, weight, weight lifters. They go five days a week, both of them. Our oldest is 21. And uh, actually I wrote a really moving blog about him because he used to be really tiny in high school, really small. You know, he played football, I think he was in grade nine, and was the smallest guy on the team. Oh, it was so sad, he was so little. But you know what, in grade 11, he took a strength course at the school in PE class, and he started to grow. He started to put on a little size, and it just revolutionized his outlook, and his confidence, and everything. And now he's very avidly uh, committed to, to working out at the gym and building his body. So it's great. It's great to see a transformation. I'm going to actually link that blog below. There we go. Because it's very, uh, it's, it's motivating. It's not actually, it's a story not just about him, but about another young boy that I saw at the gym that brought me to tears. So go ahead and take a look at that story down below. I feel like my glutes are going to feel this workout tomorrow. We're going to go slow and give me a little pause at the bottom. Yeah, good. Great. Right. Fire hydrant. Oh, this is a good one to end on because it doesn't jack your heart rate up too much, but kind of burning up the muscles in the final final round here. Here we go, up. Try to get it up as high as you can there. Last four. 
four, three, two, and rest. All right, last exercise. Grab a sip. Come into that fire hydrant. All right, ready? Try to get up to 90 degrees on the side there. Oh, it's hard. Last 10 seconds on the side. Ugh. In three, two, and time. Okay, one more side. And it's stretch time. Hopefully your glutes right there are feeling this. Ready? And last one, here we go. Halfway there. Keep the momentum. Almost there, guys. Woo. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Go. Oh, good job. All right. Get rid of that band. Grab water and join me for stretch if you can. Okay, let's start with the pigeon. Get that leg in front. So start with this 90 degree, 90 degree, and you can just roll into position. Now, if that hurts your knees, just sit here and lean forward right there, okay? Otherwise, straighten that leg back behind you. Get right into that position here. So we're stretching the glute. Let me just show you right here, okay? And hold that position there. Good glute stretch. You can stretch your arms in front of you if you are that flexible to lay your chest down on your leg. Just gonna hold that for a few seconds here, stretching, opening that glute muscle up. That's it. Good. All right, let's come up with one hand and reach up, get into a little hip flexor stretch on that other side there. Okay, nice and tall. Up as tall as you can, really get a good lengthening through that hip flexor. That's it. In three, two, and relax. All right, let's switch sides here. Another leg is behind. Oh, that feels unbelievable. And all the way down if you can. Uh, relax, relax. Oh, I usually don't take too long to stretch. I should, take, I should take longer time. Uh, you know, it's really good to lengthen the muscles back out. And as long as it's not painful, you should push it until it feels slightly uncomfortable, but not painful, right? Um, but it's good. Lengthening, foam rolling, of course, so good. Oh, other hand here, stretching up through that hip flexor on that opposite side. I like to actually just I have a tennis ball. I'm going to show you actually one of the exercises that I've been doing lately just to get into my hip and try and loosen it up because it's been a bit tight and painful. Let's sit in that butterfly stretch. It's always a good one for the groin. Okay, push those knees out. And if you have a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, something hard, if you don't have one of those little uh, hard balls for rolling, similar to a foam roller but in a circle, Great to get into small areas. I'm gonna show you two different things that I've been doing lately um, that my physio told me about that I think are just fantastic. Little uh, like fascia release, right? And just to get into the deep, deep area of the muscles. It doesn't feel like I'm sore like on the external muscles, but it's like those internal intercostal muscles, like deep, deep. That's where it's sore. Let's go ahead into this glute stretch here. Bring that leg in nice and tight. Little torso turn if you want there too. Okay. Right. 
Remember, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you are interested in joining a master class, a nutrition class, like a, I don't know, maybe a 45 minute, one hour class where we're all on a Zoom call, you can ask questions, we can talk about nutrition, I can give you some of our uh, main points that I give to clients and uh, that might be something you're interested in, then make sure that you let me know in the comments below so that I can set that up. All right, did you switch sides here? See, this side's really tight in here. I can feel it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tennis ball and show you exactly what I do to loosen that up. All right, you can find a hard surface, stick the ball on the wall, and then wherever it is that you're sore, you're gonna just kinda lean against that. Now, he told me to support myself on the wall and then lift my leg up and really let that ball get right into that crevice. It actually is incredibly painful right now, but you just kinda let that other leg hang and uh, allow yourself to fall onto that hard surface, rolling slightly back and forth, or just allowing it to press in and really begin to release that muscle in there. Another one that feels really useful for to me is I put the ball on the wall and then I get right behind my shoulder blade right there. Oh, it's like I've got knots all around the one shoulder blade. So just rolling up and down, or again, just camping on that spot, pushing and allowing that hardness of the ball to try to break apart all those knots in there. Feels really good. All right, my battery's almost dead. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I hope you did this workout with me. If you did and you enjoyed it, please make sure that you uh, give a thumbs up, like the video, share if you will, and that's fabulous with me. If you want more videos just like this, go ahead and click or tap the screen here or here, and you can get another one just like it. All right, as always, go and move daily.